Bitcoin? No clue at all. I have not heard about it. Bitcoin? Is it like a bitcoin coin? Some kind of a web series. Is it a video game? Sort of. Digital money? Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Bitcoin. You've been hearing this everywhere. So what is it? This is exactly what I'm here to talk about today. Evolve or expire. This is one rule that applies to everything on our planet. Money also follows this rule. Hello, I'm Vikram Subraj. And today I'm going to explain to you what exactly is Bitcoin. But before that, let's look into the evolution of money. First, we had the barter system. People exchanged goods to get what they wanted. Then came coins. Metals like gold, silver and copper were used for trading. When these coins became too difficult to handle, we came up with paper currency, which we still use. And later came other forms of money. Financial instruments like check, bank drafts, and of course, your credit cards and debit cards. Today, much of the money that we spend is not using anything physical, but through data, using net banking, UPA, or your phone wallets, right? But what's common with all these traditional forms of money that we're using today? They're all handled by the banks, the middlemen. If I have a 100 rupees note with me, I can directly give it to you. But a digital transaction definitely needs a middleman. All financial transactions are handled by the banks or any middleman. They hold a central ledger which has details like the sender, the receiver, what is the transacted amount and what is the balance in your account. Middlemen set the limits and the rules. Nothing can happen without their intervention. This creates inefficiency because by default, middlemen create inefficiencies. Some of them make money by directly charging commissions in your transactions. Credit card and debit card companies charge 1-2% to on every transaction that you make and others make money by selling your data or through advertisement or other services. So now why can't we have an open source network with zero inefficiency, no middlemen and with the lowest possible fees? This is where cryptocurrencies come in, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, there are many others. They are digital currencies that operate without any middlemen. No one like a bank or other institutions control them. You as the individual user have the control. People use the word Bitcoin when they actually mean a cryptocurrency. But as a matter of fact, Bitcoin is just one type of cryptocurrency. It's the first, the most famous and the most valuable one as well. So what is Bitcoin? Or rather, what is cryptocurrency? If you're in a hurry to get an answer for this, for now, I'll give you a simple one. It is money that is not controlled by anyone and we can transact with each other without the help of any middleman or any financial institution. This is just a simple definition of cryptocurrency, but there is also more to it. Now you might be wondering, how does this work? If no one is maintaining a record of who owns what, how is it safe? Now this is where things will get a bit complicated. Now I'm going to explain to you about a blockchain. Imagine the blockchain to be a network, which is like a notice board, and everyone in the network will know what is happening in that entire board. Full transparency. All cryptocurrencies exist on this blockchain, which makes it safe and trustworthy. This notice board records and displays all the transactions that has been ever made and also it is accessible to everyone. Now this creates a trustless community where you are in complete ownership and control of your own money. This is a simple change in the way we transact, but it is so life-altering, isn't it? And this is why cryptocurrencies have shaken up the financial world. I've barely scratched the surface on this subject. As I said before, Bitcoin is not just a payment mechanism, but also many other things. It is also an emerging investment class. Just like the stock market, the price of cryptocurrencies fluctuate due to a lot of factors. Billions of dollars are invested across the world in cryptocurrencies. There is a lot more in cryptocurrencies that you can know. But one thing is certain, it is an exciting investment opportunity and you can also be a part of it. If you're interested in investing in cryptocurrencies, check out Geotus. India's top-rated cryptocurrency exchange.